14th, 2008. Where Liberty activists are gathering. Russell Canning, what's going on today? Uh, there's lots of Fed guys hanging around here. Hmm, curious. There's like a whole building full of them. Hey, have you gotten the bumblebees? I just noticed there's a bunch of bees. So the wrong. Last time Kat went in there, she didn't need any ID. But I, I've heard them talk about that kind of stuff. What do you think is the ID situation in these buildings? Today? Yeah, today or... David, right? You David? David, no. Not even my middle name. Am I close? Uh, no. I was just on last year. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Good to see you again. <laughs> uh, Are you um, you're an official here? I'm about as low as... About as yeah, about as... <laughs> the only one lower is probably him, but I'm, I'm right down here. So... Do you have to have ID to go in today? Uh, has, has, have you had to before? I'm on it. I'm on okay. time. Yeah, I, we just heard that. They were talking about... Yeah, they took my ID when they uh, went in for the trial. What's this? Minions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're passing them out. I'll show you my Have you ever seen these? No. I thought it was something neat. Being my size, I you know can't pass up a good menu. Yeah, <laughs> menu. Oh. <laughs> this is too much for me. Is fully informed jury uh, concept ever discussed in those within those walls? No, to be honest with you, I can't get into that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like I tell you: sports, weather, music. I'll talk all day. It's nothing pros. How about them Celtics, huh? I'm a Phoenix Suns fan, so oh, didn't even know. Don't, don't put Phoenix. that. Don't put that on. <laughs> a Phoenix Suns fan. Don't, don't, so, Kat, I understand you're prepared for some potential ancillary drama today. Oh, well, a week and a half or so ago, the Fed Marshals sent me a notice that they put out a warrant for my arrest from a demonstration we did in the IRS office last year. So I sat in the IRS office with a sign that said, um, taxes pay for torture. And so they arrested me for that, and they wanted to fine me $250, which I never paid. So then I got this letter not long ago saying, you have 10 days to pay it, or we're going to throw you in jail. So. I take it you didn't? No, I haven't, I haven't paid Originally, they wanted $250 from me. I guess they reduced it. And they didn't do anything to Lauren at all for not paying. So how did, how did you so find out about the, the line is. Well, they sent me a notice before arrest, is what it said. <laughs> How does jurisdiction work? This is federal property. This is so you property. just you suspect that uh, being out and about today, they might find it convenient to uh, serve the warrant? It's possible. I had suspected that they did not want me to do this particular protest that we're doing right now. <laughs> Egypt protest. Yeah, that's all right. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, one of the Brown supporters, Reno Gonzalez, um, the jury deadlocked on two of the charges on him, so they were going to have a retrial. And the jury selection was going to start today, so we were just going to try to inform the jury of their rights. And uh, I suspect the feds didn't like that, is why all this came up. Did the, the, uh, was, was the letter subsequent uh, to your announcing? This demonstration. Oh, okay. Yeah. has anyone given you one? And then it seemed like they changed the day that they were going to start the jury selection. Since I was doing this today, they start. They changed it so they were going to start the jury selection tomorrow, or else the newspaper had just printed the wrong day the first time. And what was what was the news on uh, on Reno? Last night at five o'clock, supposedly the prosecutor dropped those two charges. So, there's no trial. That's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, and they says that uh, 
they're just going to sentence them to basically time served, just the indication that uh, Keith from Rhode Island got. So, I don't know the truth of that. But We're still here trying to educate people about germs rights. I, I'm already ready for lunch. Did I re-get something from the TSA people? Recently again? It seemed like I got them. Where it had been a long time. And then, yeah. and then they sent me you. Isn't it bees that they can't quite figure out how they even fly? Yeah. They broke for one. Every one of these guys is breaking the law, aren't they? Jaywalking? <laughs> But he doesn't, he's stretching and I'm thinking like, yeah, you weren't just on the couch, you know, this is a warm spot and all that. He thinks he's getting away with it, like, but I'm not on the couch now. Yeah, but I heard you jump down. Go test the floor. I believe it is. I think right. he's, well, he's... Well, it's fairly a given that through the forums, etc., the powers that be knew exactly when and where Cat was going to be today. And now, a half an hour in, it's also fairly clear that they don't have any intention of snatching her up today.